Hey, what's going on? I really want to feature an amazing Costa Rica artist. Uh, I just bought this piece. Oh, by the way, my name is Muriel. Welcome to my video. Welcome on the channel. Uh, I want to dedicate um, the maker of this piece because I believe she's super talented. And I had this impulse to make this video. It's late and I don't have daylight and she has way more work. But I just bought this piece and I discovered the artist, the Costa Rica artist, on the local market um, in the town next door where I buy my groceries. And she has this little handcraft store. And I just discovered that she makes beautiful Costa Rica paintings, Costa Rica art. And the thing is, while, I, while I'm living in Costa Rica since six years, I found out that I develop specific values about where I buy my stuff. So first of all, uh, a little background story. I moved to Costa Rica 2018 from the Netherlands. I, uh, my business is situated um, on my laptop and uh, I make my living since 2013 online. Uh, I'm an educator, online coach, and I teach people how to build an online business like mine so they can quit their jobs just like I did back in the Netherlands and follow their heart and, you know, enjoy any country in the world. Also, if you like to live in Costa Rica, travel through Costa Rica. But my values are, since I'm living here, I want to contribute to the Costa Rican culture, to the Costa Rican people. I buy in local stores, everything like my earnings with my online business. I only spend in stores that I feel it's worth it. I don't just buy anywhere. So I buy um, in stores of friends, like for example, I have this favorite clothing store and uh, it's a couple um, who make high quality clothing and they support local families with it. The fabrics are high quality, etc., etc. And I know I support their family when I buy my clothing there. Well, the same is what I discovered that this lady is, her name is Viti. Um, and I will uh, share her contact, her, her Facebook, her WhatsApp, or where you can find her art uh, in the description down below. She is making this for many, many years. And she has a family to support. She lives in a town close to my town. And I picked this up at her house. And I'm so happy and the prices are so good. So she has mirrors, she has painting. She also paints like, well, this is happened to be a skull of a dog, but she is painting skulls of cows. So I live in a, in a, in a, in a part of Costa Rica where we have a lot of grassland and a lot of cows and sometimes a cow dies. And she really beautifully paints those cow skulls with the same kind of prints, all kinds of colors. And I just want to share, wow. If you're looking for souvenirs or to, to hang up stuff in your house, like I'm here in my little office. And like I said, I have very bad lightning because it's late at night, but I couldn't wait to make this video because I'm so excited about this piece uh, where I'm going to find, um, I need to find the right wall for it, the right color. I think it's going to be the dark gray. What do you think? But I think these people need to be featured because you know, they are, work from home artists. They don't uh, work with art galleries. And I think she has so much talent. So I kind of hope that by you watching this video, you're like, what? This is beautiful. Let me show you. Look, look at the colors. Look at the handcraft. Isn't this beautiful? And like I said, she makes so much more work. This is just one tiny little bit of what she's making. So um, this is a hand painting. Before you ask someone, ask me because I posted this also on my Facebook. Is it made with other materials? No, it's just hand painting. It is on, um, let me show you. It's made on light wood. You can hang it up and uh, yeah, she also makes stuff with mirrors and she decorates stones and she has little things, big things. And I, I think she also makes things on demand. So just to give you an impression uh, how to, you know, find cool stuff, a co cool Costa Rica art, this may give you an impression. And um, yeah, if you're interested in 
living in Costa Rica like I do and you're like, but how, do you, how could I make my living? Just be aware that there are so many ways to do it without you have an Airbnb, without you have a job without you have a brick and mortar business, like being a carpenter or a massage therapist, or suppose that you're thinking about moving to Costa Rica, um, just think wide, just like thinking possibilities. If, there, if the income is blocking you, just feel free to go ahead, click the link below my video and learn more about how my business online is set up. And more importantly, how you can learn how to set it up as well. It's no rocket science, but of course you need to follow specific steps in order to make it happen. Otherwise everyone would do it. It's, there's a formula for it, not to do it. There's a formula for it, how to do it. And if I can do it, come on. So anyways, uh, how cool is this piece of uh, Costa Rica art? from this beautiful Costa Rican artist, a local with a family, with children to support. I buy the, also buy the fish from her. She's living in Cobano, where that's the town where I live very close by. Her name is Bitti, and I will share her contact down below, her Facebook, so from there you can reach out to her. Please give this artist a chance. Ask her to make stuff, to send it to you whatsoever. This is nothing compared to what she's making. And I don't make commissions on that. This is pure love. I want her to benefit from that. I have exposure online and you may discover this artist. Thanks to my video. So thanks for watching and uh, looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.